Potters are known for saying three things. Stop, drop, and roll. But for Halloween, they say three different things. Candy, carving, and costumes. The stuff we see that we don't recommend would be the loose wrap. The same advice goes for baked goods. It's best to throw them out. A better option is candy that has been wrapped at a facility. But the best is the stuff that's completely commercially sealed. You want to look for pinholes or anything that can possibly mean that the integrity of the packaging has gone bad. And when it comes to outfitting your little ones, kids usually want to wear dark costumes even though it's unsafe. The fire department has come up with a few ways to make sure your kids can be seen in the dark. In this case, it's one of those glow sticks. You simply break it open, shake it up, and you can attach it to their Halloween bucket. Or if you've got some cable ties, you can make a quick bracelet. Costumes should also fit well and be fire resistant. And parents need to pay attention to final touches like hair dye, which can pose a threat. Give it a little bit of flame. Pretty good reaction. All right, so again, just a reminder that not only should we be careful what kind of costumes we put on ourselves, but also what we're putting on ourselves as far as skin, hair, stuff like that. Halloween is the fourth busiest holiday when it comes to ER visits. The most common injury we see are hand injuries to the hand. And Macron relates them directly to pumpkin carving. His recommendation for preventing injury? Use common sense. I wouldn't trust a three-year-old with a plastic knife, let alone a metal one. There's a nice compromise. You've got some stencils that they can trace onto the pumpkin, and then as the adult, they can actually carve it out. It is important to remember all of these tips so your family spends Halloween having fun, not waiting in an ER. But if I had one tip, is go with your gut instinct, use common sense, and that should uh, take care of 99% of our problems. In Scottsdale, I'm Meg Kravanek.